Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Got another hot sauce I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today from my friend Carter Lee of California Blazing Chili Farms. And uh, that's where you can check them out. Uh, they just have a Facebook page right now. You can find them at California Blazing Chili Farms. And the one I'm going to be reviewing today is his Blazing Coyote Hot Sauce. And this is a organic Trinidad Scorpion, Scorpion Pepper Atillo. I believe it's Carter's take on the uh, Tapatio type sauce. It says a little southern flair, perfect for any dishes ranging from burritos, tacos, salads, burgers, steaks, and anything you consume. Robust in flavor and ample in heat. Eat with caution. No wimpy sauce here. So be prepared for the fiery burn of perfection. Sugar-free, gluten-free, fat-free. Proudly made by California Blazing Chili Farms. Now the ingredients are just red chilies. Trinidad scorpion peppers, salt, and distilled vinegar. That is it. And uh, they do have a uh, rating scale here. And this has got uh, heat uh, level four out of four or five, excuse me, level heat four out of five right here. And uh, if you have any questions on the products that the Carter is offering, they do have a listing of the products according to the peppers that they are using on their Facebook page. Uh, but if you have any questions, you can reach Carter at uh, California Blazing Chili Farms at gmail.com. And their products are available for sale on Etsy.com. And I'll make sure I'll put all the links in the description. Well, let's go ahead and check this one out. It's got a little um, plastic top or wrapper here at the top. Check out the consistency on this one. This one seems to be pretty thick for a, a Tapatio type hot sauce, traditional hot sauce, but a really nice color on this one. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, aroma. Wow, really uh, fiery, peppery type smell. Mmm, really smells hot. Well, let's go ahead and check this out on a spoon. Yeah, you could definitely smell those red chilies. And this one, as you can see, is pretty thick. Here it comes. I'll get a little bit more here. Yeah, my only complaint on this one so far is a little bit too thick for a Tapatio type sauce. But uh, here we go, everybody. Mmm. Wow. Um, I believe the sodium on this, if I'm reading this right, is really hard to see. Um, 110 milligrams, so that's kind of kind of up there to be expected with the Tapatio type sauce, I guess, but very spicy. Has that fermented red chili uh, taste along with the scorpion taste. You can definitely taste the scorpions. Now I know why it had the, uh, the flow restrictor top on there. No wonder I couldn't get it off so good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take that off so I can get a little bit more. But this is pretty hot, but pretty good flavor on this one. I'm going to go ahead and put this on a soft chicken soft taco. Whew, got that fiery red chili, ferment, fermented red chili um, taste. Here we go. Mmm. not too vinegary. It doesn't taste overly salty. But according to the ingredients, that's all you're getting. It's just, I'm sure these are fermented peppers, uh, red chilies, scorpion peppers, salt, and distilled vinegar. So this is a fiery red hot sauce. Um, pretty good flavor. Um, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 for flavor. I think it's a little bit too thick. Um, if it's going to be kind of a tapatio, pepperatillo type sauce, I think it should... Uh, match the consistency and not be quite so thick but great flavor on this one the heat um it's definitely up there i'm gonna have to give this one a seven out of ten for heat um this one will light you up the blazing coyote hot sauce from california blazing chili farms make sure you check them out everybody on their facebook page 
And if you have any questions, once again, you can email Carter at California Blazing Chili Farms at gmail.com. Also, I'll put the link for how to order their products and at uh, Etsy.com. Thanks so much, Carter, for sending us. I really do appreciate it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And until the next time, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.